The newest annual report by Dublin Rape Crisis Centre has found an increase in the number of cases of rape and sexual assault at Irish house parties, often by more than one perpetrator. We spoke to DCU students to find their view on the matter. I'm a bit surprised that there is an increase. I'd have always thought that the amount of rapes and like inappropriate sexual stuff has been going down. Um, yes and no, because the rise of social media and that's not really, but at the same time it is shocking. So. Not really. I, in my opinion, I think that social media and um, online dating platforms make us very accessible. Sometimes you notice um, particular guys going maybe a little bit too far with girls, um, especially if they're very drunk. Yeah. Only or always when alcohol was involved. I think that's when it kind of could get out of hand, but never anything like in a bad point, like it would always end good at the end of it whatever and I was there or I was what I noticed so far yeah that it always turned out well not like on a bad case I haven't seen any myself but um, if things were to happen I feel like some people would be like uncomfortable talking about it so I think maybe that's a reason why it's not really widely talked about and stuff like that the report stated the number of social media and dating sites in everyday life was a notable trend a number of clients have reported being raped by people they had met on a dating platform other trends included an apparent increase in incidents of rape at house parties or in the homes of friends and acquaintances. Anecdotally, more clients are reporting the use of date rape drugs. Um, I think with everything that's happening at the moment, people are a bit more careful. So maybe a couple of years back, yeah, but at the moment I feel like there's, we do need a bit more education, but I think people are being a lot more careful, um, especially because they're getting a lot more media attention. Oh, personally, I wouldn't be worried about it at all um, because um, like, and really, if I'm any, ever meeting anyone to be off Tinder to be girls, so uh, I would really have anything to worry about. Yes, I do think that there should be a bit of a worry because when you meet somebody in person, you can kind of get a vibe of, as to whether or not that person is safe and whether you should like um, go through with or like move further with the relationship. But when you're meeting people online, it's very censored. Like that person can literally catfish you, like you don't know what that person's really like. In light of these recent figures, students are being asked to be extra cautious with who they meet at house parties and on dating websites. This is Callum Lavery, DCU TV News.